guys, so this week's video is not at all makeup related. I'm going to be sharing with you my GCSE results. And when I first took my break to do my exams, I had quite a few messages from you guys asking me to share my results with you when I get them. So I thought that I would do this video for you and I personally find it quite interesting to see what other people got and to see like their kind of attitude towards it because everyone's different. So I hope you guys enjoy. So just to kind of add some background I guess, uh, I did four options at GCSE. So I did obviously English, Maths and I did Triple Science which means I do Biology, Chemistry and Physics separately. And then I did four options, which are kind of things you get to choose. So I did Psychology, PE, Graphics and French. So those are my four other subjects. So this year is kind of an awkward transition year because they're changing the way they do their grading system. So for Maths and English, it's now in numbers. So it goes from 9 to 1. And 9 is like the top, top, when like not so many people get that. And then 1 is the lower one. So the first result is Maths. And in Maths, I got 8. And I was beyond happy with that, honestly, because I came out of the first maths exam and I was, like, crying because it was so unbelievably hard and it was just not, like, the practice papers were, so I was like, oh my god. So I was, honestly, I was just trying to pass it. And in the grading system with the numbers, a four is a pass. So I was like, if I get a four or five, like, I'm good. But I looked at she and I saw an eight, I was like, oh my god. And it was just amazing and I never thought I'd ever get an eight. So that's probably the result that I'm the happiest with because I was just like completely blown away. I wasn't expecting that at all. So I'm actually quite proud of that one. <laughs> Next is English language. And in English language I got a seven. I'm not I'm kinda of disappointed in that because I usually get eights, but I'm not too bothered really because I'm not doing English A level. And it was just kind of I knew that that exam didn't go so well. So I'm not too upset about that to be honest, but I could have done better than that I think. But in English Literature, I got an 8, which I'm really happy with. Again, uh, English, it was like, I was kind of good at it, but it wasn't something that I was passionate about. So, I mean, they're fine. I'm not too bothered about those. Those are good. Those are fine. So now moving on to the sciences. As I said, I did Biology, Chemistry and Physics separately. So I did Triple Science. And in Biology, I got an A star, which I am super happy with. I always seem to, I find Biology the easiest out of the three. But I seem to do worse in the exams for that one, I'm not really sure why. But I'm super happy with that, obviously, that's amazing. And I, I worked really hard with the sciences because I was kind of stressing out because it was nine exams in total, so I'm really happy with that. And as for chemistry, I got an A star in chemistry as well, which I was kind of surprised at because uh, chemistry, it wasn't my favourite. I think biology is my favourite, but chemistry was kind of quite complicated for me. I don't really know why. I couldn't get it straight away but I'm so happy with that end result and I actually ended up doing the best in chemistry out of three sciences which is kind of strange but super happy with that. And for physics I got an A. That's, I mean, I'm over the moon with that. Physics, I just straight over my head really. I couldn't, I don't know, because it was quite a lot of maths and maths is definitely not my thing. So I was happy with an A. So now I'm moving on to my four option subjects. The first one is French and in French I got an A star which I'm really happy with. I kind of, French wasn't something that I really enjoyed, I would say, I didn't really <laughs> like it too much, but I kind of got the hang of it quite well, and I think it's something that's quite useful in life to have a language under your belt, even though it's only GCSE level, I'm definitely not doing that year level, no way, but um, I am really happy with that, and I think my control assessments kind of helped me, because I got an A star on those, and that really helped to bump up my grade a little bit. And now on to P, I got an A and P, which is really good. No one actually got an A star at my school, which is kind of strange. Um, I was kind of expecting myself to get an A star, but I'm happy with an A because it's not really something that I want to pursue further. I kind of just did P because I did gymnastics for about 12 years and I just thought that maybe learning about the theory side of it might help and also the physical side, obviously being a gymnast was very useful. Uh, so it's not really something that I will do more of. It was just kind of, I don't know, it was just kind of something that wasn't too difficult for me, personally. But I actually did enjoy it in the end, and I'm really happy with an A. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you also have to do RP, which is religious, so some people call it religious studies, there's religious philosophy, that's what we call it. But RE, or RE, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had to do long course, so it's basically full course or short course. And if you're in top set English, you have to do full course, so that's why I did full course. And it wasn't something that... I cared too much about. I did work hard in it, but it wasn't something that like I would be upset about if I didn't do too well. 
bit in RP I got an A star which is amazing. It wasn't exactly my favourite subject but I am really happy with the result I got. So now onto graphics or graphic communication whatever you want to call it. I got an A in that. I was super happy with that. It was something that I wasn't really expecting to take in the first place because it's kind of... I'm not too arty I would say. I can kind of draw a bit but it was just kind of like an impulse thing and I actually really thoroughly enjoyed it even though it was a lot of work and it was challenging but having like the end portfolio like the end result was so satisfying and I was really happy with that I did get an A star on the portfolio but not on my exam but I'm really happy with an A and I actually really enjoyed it and I'm definitely doing that A level so now the final one is psychology I got an A in that but I was, uh, my teacher told me that I was one mark off an A star, so that's one I might get remoderated. I'm not too sure yet because it's something I'm going to do at A level. So I am happy with an A. I could have, I think I could have got an A star, but it was just that one mark. And it's quite, it's a subject where you have to be very specific with your answers. And I think that's probably where I kind of fell down a bit. But I am really happy with an A anyway. So those are all my results. Overall, I am really happy with them. I feel like there's a few where I could have done a bit better, but honestly, thinking back to it, I think it's hard, it's easy to say afterwards when you're not in that situation that you could have done better, but thinking back when you're like so stressed out and you're so kind of tired and you just want to get it over with, I feel like I did the best I could at that time. So I'm really happy with those. And now I'm moving on to college. I'm going to sixth form. And in sixth form, I'm doing psychology, graphics and biology, so kind of a mixture and I'm really excited to start sixth form and kind of move on and just do three subjects I really enjoy. So if any of you just had your GCSEs, I hope you got the results that you wanted or if you had your A levels or AS levels, whatever, I hope you got the results you wanted and just remember that they're not everything, they're not really life changing, <laughs> you can do whatever you want in life, just don't be too hard on yourself and just accept it. As long as you just try the best you can, you're going to be fine. So I do hope that all of you were happy with the results if you did do those. And if you didn't, it's something to look forward to. It's definitely challenging, but it's really great in the end to see the end result of all your hard work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of apologise, it's not a makeup related one, but a few of you guys wanted me to do this. I got messages and stuff from you guys, and I just thought it was a good idea to kind of show what I got. and. I personally find it quite interesting to see what other people got as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be back with makeup next week. Bye!